Hey, welcome to the Practice Minute. Our practice this week, as we looked at Psalm 3 and 2 Samuel 15 and David facing his fear as he's being chased by Absalom, was uh, to meditate on Jeremiah 29, 11. And so I want to read that verse for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now, I mentioned in the sermon Sunday that sometimes I hesitate around this verse because it has been misconstrued. We have to be honest with ourselves. There are Christians who have taken this to mean that um, you know God's going to make us prosperous, and it's, it's one of the key verses, cornerstone verses in the prosperity gospel. But I want to invite you into meditating on this verse in this way. Knowing this, that the reality of it is once God knows the plans He has for me, I don't need to know anything else. However, God is a gracious and caring God. And so sometimes he knows that I have a sense of desiring to know that things are for my welfare, that there's a hope for me and a future for me. And so in those moments, he offers it. He'll give me the reassurance. He'll lead me to a place where I can see kind of over the, the edge of what the future holds for me. He'll give me a glimpse of the good that he has in store for me. He'll do that through prayer. He'll do that through scripture reading. He'll do that through others who come alongside me to walk. But ultimately the goal with this meditation is to get to the place where I can say, for I know the plans you have for me, declares the Lord. If you know God, that's enough for me. And so as you meditate on this verse this week, you take what you need from that. Let God offer you what you need. But just seek to become the kind of Christian that can look at God in all things and say, if you know that's enough for me, and in the times when you know is not enough for me, give me enough so that if you know is still enough for me. So spend some time in Jeremiah 29, 11, maybe a few minutes each day meditating, memorizing it, and let it just be your default verse for this week. Thanks and have a great week.